Hey Railheads, today I'm trying Slap Chop painting on some HO figures. Coming up on my Finger Lakes Railway layout. I've got three figures here from Model U in the UK and a couple conductors from Mini Prince in Canada. Well, doesn't anyone make good figures in the US? Well, let me know in the comments. I was inspired to try this slap chop painting technique after watching the latest mini prints clinic on YouTube. I'll throw a link up in the description. So basically you shoot the whole figure with black primer like you see here and that'll give you the shadows. Then you dry brush light gray for the midtones, but leaving most of the black where there would be shadows. You want to get plenty of paint on all sides of your brush, but not all the way up to the ferrule. You're mostly just using the tips of the bristles. And now you wipe away almost all the paint you just loaded on your brush. I saw a video where they recommended cork, and I happened to have some, so that's what I used. I've never really done much dry brushing, so I'm sure a lot of y'all are way ahead of me here. And after the gray is dry, you come back with white paint for the highlights, focusing on where the most light would naturally fall on a figure. I'm getting rid of all that gray paint on this piece of cork before I move to the white. Well, they sell special dry brushes, but I'm just using dollar store makeup brushes here, two for two and a quarter. Now that we've done our pre-shading, I, I guess you could call it, it's time for the actual colors. So these paints come with the mixing balls already in them, so that's pretty cool. I reckon I'll give this dude a black t-shirt. This paint is pretty translucent, so the shading I did will show through. And the end result is a very subtle look that really fits into the layout well. <laughs> These paints got funny names. The paints and the technique come from the Wargamer world. I don't know what a Beowulf even is. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you give this technique a try. Have fun. Take care.